unfortunately, the Middle Eastern region in front of our eyes is sliding towards a new large-scale war, whereas the Security Council is uh, just there helplessly watching it. The Israeli brutal military operation in Gaza continues despite the demand on the part of the overwhelming part of the international community to stop it. The spiraling violence it predictably led to, a, led to a worsening situation on the border between Israel, Lebanon, and Yemen and in the Red Sea. But instead of using diplomacy, the West Jerusalem authorities unambiguously staked everything on using force. And their American accomplices are playing completely into their hands. They are paralyzing the deliberations of the Security Council. As a result, the new victim of the Israeli military machine is Lebanon. After intensive shelling of Lebanese uh, towns, the southern neighbor started a ground operation in Lebanon. Furthermore, after a series of political killings, including the killing of the Hamas uh, chair of the political bureau, Hanin, the general secretary of Hezbollah, Nasrallah, and other leaders of resistant movements, um, Iran came into the confrontation. Iran, who for two whole months had been showing uh, exceptional under restraint. From uh, the statements made by our Western colleagues, we drew the conclusion that the only issue that uh, the Security Council has in front of it is a response to a missile strike by Iran. It's difficult to imagine what uh, kind of uh, a uh, role the diplomatic process would play when the situation is viewed this way. And it's, it's presented as though all of this happened in a vacuum, as though nothing is happening and nothing did happen in Lebanon and Gaza, in Syria, in Yemen. But it did happen, and it led to a new very dangerous uh, spiral of a widening Middle East conflict. Russia resolutely condemns the attack on Lebanon and calls on Israeli authorities to immediately stop using force and withdraw their troops from the Lebanese territory. Well, there is no indication for uh, fresh civilian victims amongst the civilians, and their number is already in the thousands. We express our solidarity with the leadership and the people of the friendly country of Lebanon who are um, undergoing an armed aggression, and we will send our heartfelt condolences to the families of those who died. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.